The Traveling Folk Troupe is um, an outreach program that we started about 12 years ago from Swallow Hill Music Association in Denver. What we're taking out to the schools is all folk and acoustic music, and we're doing it because it is the folk music, it is, it's the music that people did for themselves. And so instead of saying, you know, you could learn the classical piano or something like that, we're saying, here's something that you can pick up and do for yourself. And so it's specifically chosen for that, and also just because it's music that we love, that we play and we love. Family, this one is called a citern. Can you say citern? I knew you could. Now this one was made in England, but they play... There's about 52 instruments, so when the kids walk in, they see a stage with the world map and about 50 instruments, so they're pretty overwhelmed right at the beginning. And then um, by the end, they've said many of what the instruments are, so they've spoken in about 35 different languages. But by the end, they know what every one of those instruments is called, what it sounds like, and where it's from. I liked that little, that little violin thingy that was like really, that was made in China. And that other thing that was made in China that looked like an ice cream cone. At Laurel, we have a really diverse population of kids that come from, you know, a multitude of different backgrounds and different cultures. And I just think an experience like that, you know, with the math and bringing in the elements of geography and, you know, multicultural genres of music, the kids got so much out of it. I like the little limberjack. It was funny just watching him dance. He goes from so slow to like da 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 da. The troop's mission is um, to go out and to educate first and foremost, and also uh, to entertain and to show how much fun music is when you're doing music for yourself, to get the kids involved, to inspire them so that they may think of doing it for themselves because there are so many studies of how. Um, how much better people are, how much better their well-being is if they play music for themselves as opposed to listening when they're really participating. It's so good for the brain, it's so good for development, it opens up learning. And also to empower them so that they can see it's something that they can do. Um, almost everybody can find an instrument of some kind and learn to play. And if they start learning then, then it really empowers them to be able to go out and do it for themselves.